Dan Perkins, Cover Crop Guy. We're here in a skip row project field. It is June 20th, and you can see the corns up about, you know, to my chest. And um, we got this corn planted fairly um, on time this year, and we planted two rows in a strip till scenario at about 45, 48K, and then we skipped a row, which you can see I'm standing in. And what I wanted to do is just show you what it looks like. It's been about um, three weeks since planting this, and we've had a good amount of rain. And I wanted to show you as we get down here some of the species. We did ten different species here, um, and I want to just walk through some of them as I see them. Buckwheat, which is a warm season broadleaf, should thrive in this heat. And, and the whole goal with this is that we have the same plant population across the field, but we have more sunlight getting all the way down, up and down that corn plant on both sides of the row. So yield, um, if not greater, because we're maximizing sunlight. And at the same time, we're maximizing our soil health benefits by getting a cover crop established now and not having to struggle in a corn after corn situation um, in northwest Indiana. So we have buckwheat, we have um, a hairy vetch, we have three kinds of clovers, I can't tell the difference right now, but we have bermseen, balanza, and crimson seeded out here. We have jerry oats, we have annual ryegrass, which is, this is the thinner bladed, which um, is known to have some shade tolerance. Uh, what else do we have here? We have pearl millet, which um, I see in little small amounts here, but it's we put at a really low rate. So really, we just tried to do the leaf, cool season broadleaf, uh, warm season legume, cool season legume, and a warm season grass and a cool season grass. So six, the six groups of um, the food groups. And so it's June 20th. We'll watch this and we'll look at the yield monitor and really... This farmer's goal is about how do we maximize soil health and start to reduce inputs. Well, nitrogen is an easy one to focus on, and so we'll be taking some um, Haney and PFLA tests in the strip next spring, and also where there was no cover crop, where the corn was, just to kind of see as we put our twin row, skip row. Lots of assumptions, but that's the part of trying to farm in a regenerative way. Dan Perkins, cover crop guy.